Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this time we take a look at another and the series of the settings in Windows 10 as we go through the different settings and kind of explain quickly what they are so that maybe someday you'll need something and you'll know where it is or you know that it exists and you can change it and understand a little more about the settings app. So today we'll go into the battery settings. If you have a laptop, this is not available if you have a desktop, but in a laptop, of course, you run on batteries from time to time and the battery settings are available in the settings app. Simply go into your settings either by the action center on the bottom right and clicking the all settings button. If you don't see it, you can go to the start menu, click the settings gear, click settings, go into system, and here you will have battery. So, of course, the first indication you'll have is the overview of your battery life and battery uh, settings and uh, how much your battery is charged or not. If you're on battery, of course, you'll see it slowly decline as you're using the computer. And if you're wondering what apps are actually really draining the battery, simply click see which apps are affecting your battery life by clicking that link just below it. And you have time periods available. So the first by default is 24 hours. Of course, you'll have to let it you know, do its list of apps, and at some point it shows up. So here you see that. What takes the most battery for me? Microsoft Edge. Why? Because when I'm on battery, I'm pretty much always on the internet, so it's kind of normal. Uh, then you have, of course, uh, the other apps, all the different apps that I'm using on my computer that actually take battery. So you have this, you have apps with usage, you have all apps if you want, or always allowed apps. And if you want, you can extend that and say, okay, what about in the last week? What did, um, you know, what apps took the most? Well, you'll see. And generally, this will change uh, depending on how much you use the battery. Now, you see the numbers are the same. That's because in the last week, I used my laptop on battery only once. So it only registered the different things that I did in that one time that I used it. But if you had used your laptop several times in the last uh, week, you would see that the numbers are different from 24 hours and one week. Then you've got um, <clears throat> notifications for battery. So this uh, gives different information. It will let you know when your battery falls below a certain level. Another notification for the battery might be uh, that your battery is wearing out. So you will have a notification saying, oh, by the way, I th we think your battery is dying. Uh, stuff like that will actually happen. So um, these are the not notifications. Now here it says no notifications because there's nothing to actually show me. There's battery saver. Extend battery life by limiting background activity and push notifications. So when you turn this on, what happens is that this forces your laptop on battery saver mode automatically. If it's not turned on, um, basically what happens is... Um, your computer will use the, all the battery, um, you know, at its maximum, a little bit like when it's plugged in, and uh, all the all the way down to the zero. By turning on the battery saver automatically, it lets you slide the percentage. So here it says twenty percent. That means if I leave this on, my computer will work pretty much normal, but will actually have um, battery saver mode enabled automatically when it actually sees the batteries below 20%. The other um, thing that you could do is force, now here it's, it's grayed out, and the reason why it's grayed out is because I'm on power. Let me just remove the power cord and you'll see that the battery, that slider is now becoming black. So battery saver status, I can actually turn this on. This actually lowers the screen brightness and does a few things that will actually extend the battery life. So now if I plug it back in, you'll see that it grays out again because you can't use battery saver mode when you're not on battery. Uh, there's, of course, the check mark, lower screen brightness while on battery saver because, let's face it, the screen brightness is the, probably the number one battery killer of your laptop and tablet. So if you dim it the most that you can, you will extend the battery life for sure. 
Then you've got battery saving tips that you can click. This will actually uh, bring you to some tips and tricks on battery saving from the web. So it brings you to the support page on Microsoft. And you'll have all sorts of tips on battery. So use battery saver and so on. It has all information that you might need or might want over here. And then there's battery settings for playing video. So what's change battery settings for playing video? It brings you to another settings uh, app. What happens is when you are on, so playing videos does most of the time take a lot more battery because it asks your GPU to work. It asks your um, computer to work a little more, a little harder. But you can actually change this and you have an option to, by automatically, it, it says automize for battery life. That means it will degrade, for example, the quality of the videos playing in order to have your computer work less your GPU work less, but you can click here and say, no, no, optimize for video quality, which means you'll keep the top quality of the video, but you will have your battery drain a little faster. Another um, battery enhancer is I prefer video to play at lower resolutions on battery. That once again means you'll have less battery drain if you do so, but the video will look a little crappier. Sometimes you don't really notice much, but it depends on the videos that are playing. So these are the battery settings in the settings app in Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.